You know, one of the things that we're hearing during this time is, um, for instance, alcohol um, consumption has gone up 55% before this happened to now. And I think uh, one of the questions is, so what do we do with abuse, right? So addictions start to go up, abuse of things start to go up. So we wanna ask that question. What, what do we do now, Jason, with abuse and addiction? So when we, we look at the, the issues with substance use, they have a magnifying glass on them right now. And the thing that I'm seeing most powerfully is that the people who have well-connected, healthy lives and are doing well in their recovery are still doing well. And people maybe who don't have as strong of connections or really relying on some of the meetings or earlier in their recovery are having a harder time. And so I think the same goes for any kind of issues with mental health is very true for addiction is that we cannot let it go in silence and isolation. We have to reach out and connect with people. If you need to reach out and connect to a therapist, almost every therapy place like agency is doing stuff online right now. You can do it by telephone. You can do it as a video chat. There are so many ways and so many resources out there that you can connect to. You don't have to be suffering or miserable alone. And first and foremost, reach out to God. Do that at the very beginning. And I guarantee you, he is going to provide you help in some way, shape or form and likely through other people. Mm. Mm. Um, all of all of what you is and said, and you know, I totally agree. With the the only item that I would add um, is the tight quarters that we're in now. There are probably some addictions and addictive behavior that are being exposed for or the first time uh, because we're together. What do you do? What do you do if you have a husband that has a, an addiction, uh, or a wife, or you are concerned about a child? Well, one is really observe, observe lovingly and honestly. And two, uh, as we've talked about a lot, is listen, uh, show, show interest in them and what they're going in. And three is not only show interest, but, but be in tune with the feelings that people are going through. Uh, you know, as uh, Jason mentioned, telecounseling is a big opportunity right now. We're doing a lot more of it uh, at Emerge and a lot of organizations are doing it. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be very common as we move ahead. So for the person you love, who you think may be struggling, be attentive because you may end up being the one that encourages them and helps them to get the help that they really need. Yeah, that's so good. Hey, one thing I wanted to tell you, you know, when uh, my wife makes soup, she uh, gets that meat in there first, right? And all of that stuff comes up to the surface because the water's boiling and all, all of that stuff comes up and then she scoops it out, you know, gets it out of there. And I want to let you know that sometimes when the heat is on, we're, we have a situation like that going on right now yeah. through the world and everything just starts rising up and we see things we never saw before. And I, I, I agree with both of these guys. Be compassionate. Um, show some love because there might be some stuff that was always there, but because the heat is on right now, it's coming up to the surface. And man, what they need right now is help. They need love. They need you to help point them in the right direction, but not to just be putting them down. So I encourage you, if things are coming to the surface, be loving, be caring, and of course, do everything you can to take them to a place of getting help.